I'm gonna add a bullet list like so. I'm gonna remove the description like so. I'm gonna remove the bullet list. Hello everyone, this is Payon. Welcome to Undesign channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create alert components and make them reusable and responsive. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and create it. The first thing I'm gonna do uh, before that, as always, I have everything that I need prepared here. Then the first thing I'm going to do is basically hit T on keyboard and write alert message goes here, exclamation mark, and set the text style to um, actually maybe body 14, body 20, which is going to be 14 pixels. Then the next thing uh, I want to add is basically a description. So let's duplicate it one more time. And this is gonna be, this is where the alert description goes. Please replace it with your own. All right. The next thing is basically changing the style. I'm gonna go with caption 10. Then we have the bullet list. Let me duplicate that, and this is gonna be, to create a bullet list on, on Figma text, basically what you need to do is hit hyphen and space, then it's gonna convert it automatically to a bullet list. So let's go with list item 01, hit enter, list item 02, list item 03, like so. Then we need suffix for the right of the right side of the alert and we have the icon on the left side. So what I'm gonna do next is gonna be hitting shift I, find an icon, for example, info, like so. And then I'm gonna set the style to bold for this icon. This is a custom icon I found, I found on the um, Figma community. Uh, I had the icon on the icon page so you can check it out. So the next thing is going to be creating the suffix. All right, let's duplicate this one, change it to close. Um, like so, make it linear. All right, like that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is basically connecting everything together and making it responsive. In order to do that, first we need to group up our text. So I'm going to select all of my text and hit Shift A on the keyboard to create an auto layout. I'm going to set the spacing to six pixels, something like that. And then I'm going to select all of them and hit Shift A one more time to create another auto layout. And for the spacing, I'm going to go with 12. By the way, I'm picking all the spacing from my variables. If you haven't checked that video out, please do. It's uh, down. It's on the link uh, provided with the da in the down the description. Sorry, and um, yeah, there's a playlist which I uh, which basically we went through creating a, a complete design system from scratch. So make sure to check that out. And now, in order to style this, we need to add some colors for the fill. I'm gonna go with primary default subtle like so. Let's set some spacing from left and right. I'm gonna go with 16, and um, top and bottom too, 16. Set some corner radius, again, from my variables, and go with 12, like so. Now let's just add some colors to the content. This is gonna be primary, primary default light, like so. This is gonna be primary default light for the suffix. And then for the text, we're gonna go again with primary. It's gonna be link label. For these two, we're gonna go with primary as well, but a little bit darker, like so. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is basically convert this to a component and continue adding our properties. So let's convert it to a component. All right. And you can even increase the weight of this, but uh, for this one, I'm gonna go with with the same. You can change it to like subtitle 14, like so. I think that looks good, yeah. Let's skip that. And let's go ahead and add our properties. 
So the first thing is going to be alert message, which is going to be alert message goes here. This is uh, for editing our property in future easier. So I'm going to um, find this text and connect it to our alert message. Then we're going to define uh, define some booleans to in order to hide and show these and basically for the suffix as well. So let's go ahead and create some booleans. This is going to be the suffix. By default, it's going to be true. Let's find our icon, actually our suffix, and go to the layer section. This is super important. Go to the layer section, find this icon, which connects our Boolean property um, to this um, element. So I'm going to select suffix. All right, now it's connected. And let's go ahead and create another um, Boolean, which is going to be bullet list like so by default it's going to be true or we can change it to false probably I'm going to change it to false and let's find and connect it from layer section this is super important make sure to remember that again create another boolean and this is going to be description I'm going to leave this one true as well for now let's connect it to description all right, the next thing I'm going to do is basically connect our instant swaps um, to our icon and suffix. So I'm going to create two instant swaps. This, uh, this is going to be icon. I'm going to find the info icon, like so, create property. And then I'm going to create another instant swap, and that's going to be a suffix. And let's find close. close like so create property and let's just connect them so this is going to be from here from the component section not the layer from the component section i'm going to find tap on apply instant swap property and find icon like so we need to change that to bold here we need to restart the icon all right now we have some interference with the naming so let's change the um, instant swap suffix name to suffix component so we can um, differentiate better so also let's connect it connect this suffix to suffix component like so now we have completely created our alert let me rename it to info alert the next thing I'm going to do is basically create the accent border, which is a different style. In order to do that, I need to create another property, and that's going to be variant. The name is going to be um, accent border. Let me resize this, and then I'm going to duplicate it. Um, this is going to be uh, false. The next one is going to be true and in order to change the styling of this to accent border we need to remove the corner radius so let me remove that and set it to zero like so you can see that there is no radius right now let's add a stroke set it to four maybe inside is okay and let's find our color i'm gonna go with default border and as you can see, it doesn't look good right now, but we need to change that to change the border to left only. Like so. Now it's much better and we have successfully created two styles for our alerts. The next thing we, you can do is basically create and connect these texts. So let me copy this text and um, create a text property and call it description text and paste that text as value like so and also let's copy this one and create bullet list text bullet list text like that and paste it here and then let's go ahead and select these these two bullet lists and connect it from here to our property bullet list text right here 
and then select these two descriptions and connect it to the description text like so all right now we have created all the properties that i need and the next thing i'm going to do is basically create other types of alerts and add it here so i'm going to pause the video here and i'm going to create all of them and i'm going to see you in a sec all right i finished creating all of the types of the alerts so we have info warning success error and you can add up to any any number you want so let's go ahead and test it i'm going to hit shift i on my keyboard and find uh, maybe info alert like that by the way in order to make your alerts responsive what you can do is basically select all of the texts right and set it to fill container as well as setting the parent um, group like the auto layout to fill container as well then as you can see here whenever I resize this everything gets updated so let's go ahead and play around with this one I'm gonna add a bullet list like so I'm gonna remove the description like so I'm gonna remove the bullet list like that let's change the width you can see that it's get it gets updated let's add the bullet list again let's add the description again we can change the size and everything gets updated we can change the style to accent border like so and as you can see it's all responsive and um, you can basically edit in, in any way you want and style it any way you want but this is the way to create the responsive alert this spot the, the styling actually depends on your branding and the product you're designing you can also add other properties like small medium and large but for now i'm going to go with this one and yeah that's how you can create an alert component and add it to your design system um thank you so much for watching um, if you enjoyed the video please uh, like the video leave a comment uh, let me know what you think on, my, on the comment section below and also a subscription to the channel would be, uh, would be awesome um, so please do um, thank you for watching once again and i'll see you in the next one cheers